Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know, Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about Donald, Little Man, Ortiz. Donald Ortiz was from the Whittier Vario Locos gang. Coming up in the Whittier Vario Locos gang, the five foot six Ortiz got the nickname Little Man. He spent most of his life in juvenile halls, youth camps, reform schools, county jails, and state prisons, and would soon join the Mexican Mafia. After angering his once fellow carnals in the 1990s, Donald Ortiz had defected and became a dropout from La M.A. For decades, it was agreed among peers that Donald Little Man Ortiz had to be killed. For years and years, going from jail to jail, prison to prison, Little Man would live with paranoia, wondering if each and any day would be his last day alive. Investigators discovered a letter symbolizing a plan to have Ortiz killed. Little Man already knew he was fair game but refused protection from police. When Ortiz was released in 2019, he reconnected with the woman he'd met in elementary school and eventually moved into her apartment in Chino. For the time being, Ortiz would drift and roam untouched, but it was all short-lived. In late 2021, Ortiz could no longer have any breathing room. It was time to meet his maker. Caesar had been tied to the murder of Donald Little Man Ortiz multiple ways dna cell phone records internet searches surveillance video and jail calls before ortiz was killed someone using the accounts had looked up donald ortiz mexican mafia little man and ma dropouts the day ortiz died soon after 4 p.m palomino's phone was in asperia where his family lived at 2 30 p.m geolocation data showed the phone traveled along the 15 and 60 freeways exiting at Central Avenue in Chino at 4 or 6 p.m. 20 minutes later, the phone arrived at a street behind Ortiz's apartment complex and transmitted no signal for about 20 minutes, indicating it had been turned off. By 7 p.m., the phone had returned to Asperia. Two casings found near Ortiz's body for DNA testing confirmed. Palomino's DNA was on the expended shells. While going through Palomino's text messages, investigators found an exchange from March 2022 in which Palomino asked the woman for help registering a car that he said was a gift from Manuel Quintanero, a Mexican Mafia member. A jail call was made by an inmate in the same module as Palomino. The inmate, David Mendeville, told his spouse, I'm here with Snuffy's primo. You know that dropout little man? She said yes, he got him. Mendeville said he got him, baby. That being said, Donald Little Man Ortiz was killed because his past had nothing left to offer and he had grown out that life, but that life never left Little Man's side. 